What's up guys, this is Brandon with Basically Brandon. How do you guys feel about doing some crafts tonight? I just got home from the Louisville Boat Show and I know that I just posted some content last night, but I thought, let's go ahead and do another uh, craft or two. So the crafts that we're gonna do tonight are inexpensive. We're gonna do some stainless steel looking pots as well as a little tray for it to go on. And then we're also gonna work on a homemade lantern using some Jenga block sticks. Um, you'll see that here in a minute. I'll show you guys all of the, uh, all the materials that you're gonna need for this craft. They're gonna be inexpensive. It'll be Dollar Tree material, Walmart material, really inexpensive stuff, but really cool. Um, if you're liking what you're seeing on my channel, make sure that you subscribe. Make sure you click the bell to get notifications when new content becomes available. And let's just jump right into it. So for this first project, you're going to need a pack of the Tumbling Tower wooden block games from Dollar Tree, a pack of super glue, two wooden frames that say Luck of the Irish from the Dollar Tree, Waverly white chalk paint, brown paint, a pick, a boxwood pick from Walmart, and then a pack of skewers from Walmart as well. The very first thing you are going to do is pop the front of this wooden frame off with a little force. It'll come right out. You'll see here in just one second and you'll do it on both of these frames. to mention you're going to need some sandpaper so have some sandpaper and get ready to take the uh, glitter off of the front of the one of the frames nextly you're going to take some hot glue and you're going to put it around the frame and then you're going to turn the front of the frame upside down on one of them because that's going to be the base of your lantern Next, you're going to take your wooden blocks and you're going to connect them together using hot glue. Now, if you have E6000 available or some sort of resin to put in between the wooden blocks, it will make it a little bit stronger. However, I ended up using hot glue and it worked out perfectly. And then I took some um, super glue and I filled in some of the cracks just to make it a little bit stronger to have a better bond. All together, you're going to have four of these, which will be the columns inside your lanterns. Now, once you have all four done, you're going to go ahead and start painting everything. You're going to take that Waverly White chalk paint. You're going to paint all of your columns. You're going to paint your base, and you're going to paint the top as well. Once you get to this point, it becomes a lot of smooth sailing. So you're just going to take your columns and you're going to use some hot glue. You're going to attach them to the inside of your base. And those columns will stand straight up once the hot glue is dry. 
After that, you're going to take the top of it and you're going to attach it using hot glue as well, and you'll see that in just one second. Next up, you're just going to take your screwers and you're going to put them on the inside of your lantern and you're going to do them in an X formation on each side of the lantern and you'll just attach it using hot glue. So next up, I was not liking how the skewers were looking on the inside of the lantern, so I just took some juke twine and I just wrapped them around each corner to kind of hide them, and it ended up looking really cute. I was really happy with it, um, and you can do that on yours if you want to. If you'd prefer just to leave it out, that's fine too. Um, it's entirely what you choose to do. The last step in finishing your lantern, I just took some brown paint and I dry brushed it directly onto it to hide a little bit of the cracks, but also to kind of give it more of a rustic feel. Guys, that was all for this project, and I'm in love with it. I have it sitting over here in my corner on my desk. I absolutely love it. It cost me probably about $6 to do, and in maybe two hours total to finish it off, and I, I just love it. For your next project, you're going to end up needing two packs of the two-for-one ceramic planters from the Dollar Tree. You're going to need to pick a boxwood. You're going to need, and that comes from Walmart, you're going to need the little foam pieces that you put inside of planters from Dollar Tree, some black ink Waverly chalk paint, some gray paint, some metallic Rust-Oleum paint, a piece of nautical rope, foam board, and then some pop, the big popsicle sticks that you can get at Dollar Tree for a dollar. First things first, you're going to open up with those planters and you're just going to take them out and start painting them with the black paint. Next up, you're going to take a piece of foam board. I did mine by 12 inches by about 4 inches. And you're just going to take that and you're going to start attaching popsicle sticks to it. And the popsicle sticks will hang over on the sides of the foam board. We're going to cut those off in just one second. So next up, you're going to take a damp paper towel, and you're going to take and dip it into the brown paint, and then you're going to use it as kind of a stain 
on these popsicle sticks. Next up, you're just going to take some jute twine and you're going to hot glue it around your tray. With this next part, I was going to use the nautical rope as it came from the Dollar Tree, but I ended up unraveling it to where it has like three pieces of rope inside of it and using it for the handles on the tray. And I just hot glued it down. Next, you're going to take your gray paint and you're going to dab it with a napkin and you're just going to start dabbing it onto your um, ceramic planter so that way you get that gray into it. Once you finish it, then you're going to take spray paint, that metallic spray paint, and you're going to put it into a container, dip that napkin back into it, and then blot it on the ceramic planter again to give it a galvanized look. Then you will take that foam planter and put it inside of the ceramic planter. And you can fill it up with whatever you want to. I chose to put green moss and then boxwood in it, um, which is why I said get boxwood at the beginning of this. But if you want to put lavender in it, put lavender in it. Whatever you want to put in it, it's up to you. Once you finish it, you are finished. You'll just display it together. And I have to tell you, I absolutely loved this project so much. I've actually got it set on my coffee table. I loved it so much. It ended up being so cute. so much for stopping by my channel again and if you're liking the content i'm putting out make sure you subscribe make sure you turn the notifications on and we'll see you next time bye